We will talk about blood in the stool. First, we notice is stool color. It can be darker color, which is called melena, or more brighter red. It is called hematochezia. The main principle is if it's melena or if it's darker, it's from gastric or from small intestine or from esophagus. So if it's darker, it's from upper part. If it's brighter, it's from lower part. It's from anus or rectum or colon. So hematochezia is from lower part of our gastrointestinal tract and melena is from upper part of our gastrointestinal tract. First and most common cause of blood in the stool is hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids is responsible on 40% of cases blood in the stool. Uh, of course, it's hematochezia or bright red color because hemorrhoids are varicose veins from around anus. Around, you can see this is veins, dilated vein, and this vein can bleed during straining and during bowel movement. Uh, it's inner varicose and it's outside, uh, so uh, it can be visible also, and person can uh, feel lump near his or her anus uh, or notice swelling. It's usually hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are responsible in most cases of blood in the stool. And what is most important risk factor for hemorrhoids? It's constipation and straining. Constipation is caused usually a low dietary fiber diet. If you consume less vegetables and fruits, you get constipation because lack of dietary fiber and it increases risk of hemorrhoids. So hemorrhoids is first we suspect when person has blood in the stool and if, he, if this blood is bright color. Second most common cause is anal fissure. Anal fissure is physical trauma, you can see. It's visible in many cases. It's responsible around 20% of cases of blood in the stool. Blood is bright color and person can notice blood on toilet paper. It's usually because of anal fissure. Anal fissure is caused by straining and constipation also and painful bowel movement is common characteristic also and it's such painful that person can be afraid to go to toilet. And in many cases, visible torn are around anal opening. Nitroglycerin ointment is um, treatment. In many cases, it helps to heal uh, this physical trauma. And uh, eating dietary fibers, eating fruits and vegetables, and hydration also is part of treatment. Third most common cause of uh, blood in the stool is diverticular disease. Diverticular disease are small pouches or small bags inside and outside colon. Usually you can see this uh, yellow parts, yellow bags, it's diverticular disease. Usually it has no symptoms. But if this diverticular disease becomes inflamed, it can bleed. And this condition is called diverticulitis. Diverticulitis also has symptoms. Usually lower abdominal pain and sometimes nausea, vomiting, sometimes fever. It depends, but it has symptoms. Now, uh, to summarize, hemorrhoids usually, usually it, it can develop at any age, but usually risk increase after 40. Anal fissures are more common among young people, especially children and pregnant women and after delivery. Diverticular disease is common 
after 40 also so uh, if person is younger we think about anal fissures if person is after 40 we think about hemorrhoids and diverticular disease but most common is hemorrhoids in any case now let's say if we have melena or if we have darker stool tar like stool black color stool peptic ulcer is most common cause peptic ulcer means ulcer in stomach or in intestine small intestine duodenum peptic ulcer is very common condition it affects around 10 percent of world population at some point of their life but it does not mean that everyone who has peptic ulcer they have melena it's not true if there is melena it already complication of peptic ulcer bleeding is complication of peptic ulcer peptic ulcer usually is caused by helicobacter pylori it's bacteria which can infect gastric um, gastric surface and it can cause ulcer uh, person has burning or gnawing sensation, bloating, sometimes nausea, and treatment is antibiotics, proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole and lansoprazole, and avoid smoking, avoid spicy foods are uh, prevention of um, prevention of peptic ulcers. As a cause of melena is gastritis. Gastritis very looks like uh, peptic ulcer. Most commonly, it also caused by infection by Helicobacter pylori, and chronic alcoholism also causes gastritis. Smoking also exacerbates gastritis, and esophageal varices is third most common cause of melena. Esophageal viruses looks like uh, hemorrhoids, but uh, in case of hemorrhoids, we have varicose veins on rectum, and at this case, we have, we have varicose veins around lower part of esophagus. Usually, it happens because of liver problems, and if person has serious liver problem, we can inspect esophageal viruses, but in generally healthy people such cases are very rare in generally healthy people you can think about peptic ulcer in alcoholics you can think about gastritis and in people who have liver problem you can think esophageal viruses and if we say what is most serious problem if person has blood in the stool is colon cancer of course Sometimes colon cancer causes blood in the stool, but colon cancer is not very common cause of blood in the stool. It, it's very serious, but it's not very common. Also, uh, maybe you know about when there is blood in the stool, but you can't notice with your naked eye. It is called occult, uh, occult blood or occult bleeding uh, in the stool. It is caused by different conditions, in, including gastritis, including peptic, peptic ulcer, including colon cancer. So uh, it's different topic, but you should know that there are such cases also when there is blood in the stool, but we can't notice without microscope that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now